What's up, my lovely people? It's Queen Agnes. Welcome to Queen TV, where I encourage everyone to be earnest and billion and overall empowered. Ah! Come in here and give you guys an end of the year video. And so what I want to talk about, and I feel like it's really important, and it's something I've been wanting to share. I just didn't know the right time. And so I was just sitting down, and I was like, I need to make this video like I feel like I have to share you know my experience and so what I'm going to be talking about as you can tell by the title is how I got through 2020 and 2020 in mix with all the emotional mental spiritual challenges that it gave me personally it was also mixed in with so many physical and we all know pandemic and, and corona is happening and so there's so many economic economic economical problems too that we're also facing all at the same time so it is it's definitely been a year and um has taken a toll on so many people whether it's financially mentally spiritually all of the above and so how i was able to get to 2020 because i'm here which means i made it or almost made it still have a few more hours left but honestly my relationship with god and i am not even lying capping trying to sound all holy but my relationship with god even though it is not perfect and there was time where I came short on my end because God never comes short. But there has been times where I came short on my end. But just having that relationship with God really, really got me through 2020. Because I remember when the, pand the pandemic first started, it started in... Um, it started well it started like in 2019 in like november but like it didn't really start affecting us till march and i remember we were on spring break and they said oh you're not going back the next week and we're like okay and then they said oh you're not going back the next month and you know it just kept extending and so at that point i just had so so much time because our teachers didn't really that transition was really hard for them too and so we didn't really have a lot of work and so i had a lot a lot a lot of free time we couldn't leave the house we were home doing nothing had a lot of free time to really think and dive in and so like i've shared with you guys my testimony and if you have not watched that video um i would recommend you to watch that video because i share my testimony um from the beginning of the covid and how i got close to God and how I was able to in a way rediscover God and my relationship with God and how I was even though I've been a Christian my whole life finally like able to really really say why I'm a Christian and really discover what a Christian in its entirety is and so like that's what got me through that time because I was just bored out of my mind but when I started reading the bible watching videos and sermons that took up a lot of my time i started writing in my journals different talks that i wanted to share with people and that's how it started and i was just like i want to share this with so many people and i started trying to do it on instagram on snapchat um sharing para literally paragraphs on my stories like saying okay um this and this and this like what i learned because i would learn so many juicy things that i just wanted to share like i didn't want to hold it in and so i would really type out paragraphs and then i just thinking to myself like this is not gonna work like i have too much to say and typing it out some people don't even read it because i know i don't when i see a long paragraph i do not read it. i just skip through it so i was like what can i do and so that's when i discovered youtube and so then when i discovered youtube i was like this would be a great opportunity for me to share god's word freely because you know i talk a lot sometimes and so um the minutes they give me to talk on instagram or snapchat is not enough for me to even talk and so i was like you know what i'm gonna make a youtube channel 
and then I started researching YouTube in general and I really saw how YouTube was really helping people out and I was watching testimonies and different things like that and I was like I think God can really use me through YouTube and I feel like I can reach people and I feel like it's my calling like God wants me to be on this platform sharing his word sharing my journey because I'm taking you guys on my journey because it is not easy and sometimes I do keep stuff inside and so YouTube has also given me an opportunity to voice different things so I'm super super grateful for YouTube and that is also another way how I got through 2020 was through YouTube and you guys um your comments are always uplifting they keep me going they keep me uploading so yeah then after YouTube I continued I continued making some videos and then um I got a job and then when I got a job so when I got a job um I kind of got two in one two jobs at the same time so I had my online business and then I had my job um at a fast food so my main reason for really wanting to work was I just I felt unhealthy at home I was just sitting around all day long all I could do was sleep and just sit around all day so I wanted to get my blood moving and so that was the reason why I actually wanted to go to work and so when I went to work uh it was good it was relieving uh you know I was I was balancing my health so it really helped because me just going outside doesn't work for me because like outside just brings me so much problems my face starts get acting up um my skin so that's why i don't really like going outside so going to that work really really helped me balance my health and so after i started going to work um it was a couple paychecks in um you know i went through it and it really helped me a lot because i was distracted from if there's any craziness that was happening at home that was the way i escaped so i escaped that way and so uh i don't remember exactly what month that it was i think it was september november no october november it was either october or november oh no i don't remember I don't know, but um, during that month, I started watching a lot of videos and a lot of research on my future and businesses and careers. And it all started because of my side hustle. Um, I partnered up with the, the number one all vegan hair product i mean hair beauty company and that that's what really got me expanding so my mind you know started shifting a little and i started thinking deeper and i and with covid people were losing jobs left and right people were just losing jobs and that really got me thinking like wow like i don't want that for my future like i want to have a secure job i don't want to have a job where I'm dependent on someone else or I have a boss I want to have a job that gives me the freedom because then I started noticing as I was working I had to I was working a lot of hours I mean not really I was only working four hours every single day though I was working four hours every single day and even those four hours like I just noticed that took a lot on me like I was I was not spending as much time with God as I wanted to. And so that's the main reason why I started looking into it. Because I didn't want... I wanted to work and make money, yes. And get away from home and everything. But at the same time, I wanted to have that time with God. And so that's when I started thinking about different ways that um, I can support myself while giving me the freedom to do other things for god to do other things for my family to spend time with my family because i wasn't really seeing i still don't see them that much and so that's what i started doing i started doing a lot a lot of research on it and then it was like november october i don't know i have my months mixed up 
and something happened something happened and it messed up my mental because i was just letting outside noise come in and i was listening to all of it and people were saying like you know you your dreams are not good enough or like you really think that's going to sustain you all these different type of things and so at that time i just honestly let it get to me and so i stopped now just working and i was like you know what this is going to be life just working 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 you know and then um on my beauty business too that i partnered up with like i started slacking like i'm not even gonna lie i started slacking because i just didn't have that faith in doing stuff like risky stuff like that because i was just shut down and so i was just going through the motions like i wasn't really living like i was just going through the motions and so when i had a pretty good amount of money i had risked i had risked 500 dollars actually trying to invest into getting more money and of course it failed but it's because i realized my mind was just it was working too fast and it wasn't thinking it through and so losing that 500 dollars really got my mind like open you know and so the money i was making afterwards i just kept it kept it kept it and then december it was like the first no it was the second week in december i thought well before that i already had an idea to start like a um t-shirt t-shirt business but after college and so in december i just really started thinking like um honey because there was a lot of stuff that was going on at home and different places and my mental was just not in the right place it was really messed up and so I just was thinking of how I'm going to provide for myself that. And so that's one of the biggest things. And so, yeah. And then I thought of making my queen cosmetics business. And then it literally like, I am so happy. I'm still happy. I was so happy. Like. I was so happy. I literally got almost everything done in two days. So that first day when it came into my mind, I didn't sleep. Like, the, like I went at, I don't know what time I went to sleep. I think I went to sleep at two. I had my notebook and I was just writing. Like, I was just watching videos on starting a business, what you need to do. Like, I was taking notes, taking notes that whole night. I woke up taking notes, taking notes, taking notes. And then half, then that next day, I um got my brother and I was like, okay, you need to help me with this, you need to help me with this, you need to help me with this. We got that done in a few hours and then I started ordering all the products that I needed and it has just been super duper amazing. Like, I love doing this. And so that is another thing that got me through 2020. Having goals, having a goal and saying, okay, I'm going to reach this, keeping myself busy. And every time I always fell back to God, you know, I always prayed really hard about it the and the thing is you pray really hard but it doesn't mean slow down what you're doing because there's gonna be when you're praying really hard about it but you keep on doing it there's gonna be signs you just have to be really open to the signs that are presented to your life so when i was praying really hard about this business i was praying i was praying and Everything pointed to, yes, you need to do this. You love doing this. You need to do this. And then there's some other stuff that would, people were telling me stuff. And I was hearing stuff. And honestly, because of God, like, God helped me with the way I was thinking. I didn't even think, before I let it, remember I let it go to me a couple months ago. But I was just like, you're telling me I can't do my business. You're telling me my business is not gonna help me or it's not gonna be successful that's actually making me want to do it more to prove you wrong so that's another thing that really got through me and that i mean that got me through 2020 and that only worked out because i have that relationship with god and like i said i'm gonna say it again um sometimes on my end i did fall short and but he still pulls through like god still pu pulls through so 
basically the biggest way i got through 2020 was through my relationship with god and everything god always always came 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 through with my mindset my mental being there for me even when i felt like i was alone i didn't actually like i didn't feel alone 2020 for a split second but then after like getting back to my mind i'm like why are you acting like you're alone why are you acting like there's no one that believes in you god believes in you i learned to depend on myself depend on god especially god god is the one who got me through this 2020 not me because my strength i'm telling you was not it but god got me through this year and so i hope you guys loved this um last video of 2020 and i don't want to make no promises to you guys because i'm always making promises but it i don't deliver like i said i was gonna make part two of romans chapter chapter eight reading and i was gonna make it but you know i don't know but that's one of my new year's resolutions to start back on my regular schedule for uploading and so that is it, my lovely people. I, got, I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And I hope that you guys can use my experience to help you going on into 2021. Because 2021 has been my favorite year. Like, literally, I'm always talking about 2021. Not only because it's the year I graduates. I feel like it's the year I just everything. I just feel like it's my year. So... Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. May God bless you. Bye.